Hey, what's up, Wayne Aven? All right, so I'm going to talk about a Tabata workout today, and I'm going to have a new series coming out on just format workouts. It's going to be one exercise. We hit it for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, do eight rounds, and you have a workout done in four minutes. So be looking for that new workout series. But I want to break down what Tabata workouts are, kind of give you kind of a like master class on it. That way you understand um, – why they're so powerful and why you can incorporate them in life and what to expect from it and who it's for. So Tabata is similar to HIT, so H-I-T, so High Inter Intensity Interval Training, type of physical training that in which you put yourself through short bursts of extremely high intensity exercise followed by part, periods of rest. And the Tabata workout is actually a much more intense session than just a HIT um, and is very specific in timing of intervals which yield four minute total body workout time. So your body can only perform at its absolute best for a very short amount of time and Tabata takes this into account. The four minutes are divided into eight rounds where you work out extremely hard for 20 seconds and then take 10 seconds to recover and do it eight times. Sound easy, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, Tabata training is one of the most demanding exercise programs um, in existence, but delivers amazing results. Um, so let's talk about the history of Tabata. So Tabata workout was developed by a man named um, Dr. Izumi Tabata, a Japanese scientist who um, was in charge of the Japanese Olympic athletic training. And with a team of researchers, he looked at two different types of athletes. Both groups use the same form of exercise, biking on a stationary bike. One of the groups followed a traditionally um, steady state exercise program. They trained five days a week for an hour at a time. The other group followed a very intense interval training program. They worked for only four days a week, and each workout lasted only four minutes with high intense 20 second intervals followed by 10 seconds of rest. After six weeks, um, the groups were, com were compared. The group which had taken the traditional route had reasonable results um, for cardiovascular training, but the exercise had done nothing for the anaerobic system. The second group, which had exercised less than five minutes a day, okay, get this, the exercise less than five minutes a day, had achieved more cardiovascular conditioning, aerobic system, and anaerobic capacity increased 28%. Um, so what does this mean for real life that I don't have that, you know, I don't have time to exercise regularly is no longer an excuse for not being fit as you should be. All you need is four minutes a day, four minutes, a little, you know, a little gung-ho, a little gin in your life to help motivate you. Um, you know, to body training can improve both your, or, you know, aerobic and anaerobic far more than hours of regular cardio and mild intensity exercise. To body training is not limited to any particular kind of exercise. The key is to, um, the key is the way the exercise is organized. 20 seconds maximum effort, effort exertion followed by 20 by 10 second rest. Just enough time to give your body what it needs to go maximum again over and over. During those 20 seconds of intensive exercise, you absolutely must push yourself to the limit though. So like when you do these with me, they're not like, I'm going to give 70%, 95%. You have to give 110%, like all out. Um, you know, medical effort will give you medical results. So know that... It, to do these, like, and get the results, you have to be all in. If you're disciplined, though, you can make yourself go extreme. Uh, and Tabata training can give you a healthy, lean, well-conditioned body um, and hardly any daily expenditure. So let's talk about the science because I'm all about, like, I like to know the facts and the research to things before I commit to anything. And so the science behind Tabata and Tabata workouts are – a way of um, condensing that full hour into four minutes and get the benefit you would over for an hour version. So Dr. Tabata's study on the Olympic athletes and many other studies have been done by the, you know, about how effective Tabata training actually is. The bottom line always comes out to be the same. High intensity interval training using the Tabata method is an extremely efficient method of increasing fitness levels, improving athletic performance, increasing metabolism, and burning fat. So let me say that again. High intensity interval training using the Tabata method specifically is an extremely effective method for increasing fitness levels, improving athletic performance, increasing metabolism, and burning fat. So what is the science behind this magical work protocol? The science behind Tabata has to go with how your body responds to stress, okay? In layman's terms, your body will become fit if it responds to stress that requires you to more to actually give more than it's comfortable to give. So in one hour moderate intensity um, level exercise, your cardiovascular system may be slightly stressed while your muscles may not be at all. This leads to slight improvement changes in the fitness and the cardiovascular system over time and no change in the muscular system. So high intensity interval training such as this recommends recommend by the Tabata protocol stresses both the 
anaerobic and aerobic systems, you know, intensely. And that's why we see um, progress at both, right? Both of them improve. Since physical activity is generally limited by the ability of both aerobic and anaerobic systems um, to resynthesize, it's called ATP, um, is um, what's usable form of chemical energy for muscular activity, if I could put that right. So it's, we are essentially talking about fitness levels is the ability of the system to resynthesize that ATB or the adenosine triphosate um, in usable form of that muscular energy. So it's how we can actually utilize it, break down, right? During the moderate intensity activity, there isn't much problem at resynthesizing the ATP, okay? To meet the need during your 20 second to body high intensity session however both aerobic and aerobic systems are pushed to the limit right and they are both driven to become more fit more able to release the energy required for extreme exertion so the science behind high intensity interval training and tabata training in particular um do you know many experience try the tabata for six weeks like join me like i'm gonna have videos here i'll have the different videos and you go through them and see what changes and observe your own physical physique and physical ability. If you are constant and do the Tabata regimen correctly, the results will be amazing and they will be significant. So know that this is possible. Um, what about the health benefits and other benefits of Tabata workouts? Well, we all know that Tabata is effective, but what exactly are the benefits of Tabata interval training? Let's look at them. So let's go in deeper to this. So I'm, let's look at the aerobic conditioning, right? Four minutes of cardio-focused Tabata training gives you enough cardiovascular system better workout than a whole hour. Uh, steady state. It's ramping up what's required of the heart and entire circular system. And when your body sees that something is required of it, it delivers, right? Our bodies, our bodies capable of so much more than we ever realized or ever that we ever put ourselves through. So many times we limit ourselves because we don't think we can do that. We don't think we can push that far. But imagine, like, we have so much, if we need it there, like, maybe you're not a runner, but let me tell you, if something's chasing you down, can you run? I bet you're going to, you know, haul it, right? Um, and then anaerobic conditioning, because of the strain it puts on our muscles during the high intensity burst or activity, to our idea for anaerobic conditioning. Anaerobic exercises are defined by being um, short in duration, high in intensity, and less anywhere from a few seconds to two minutes. Anaerobic really means without oxygen, okay? Where one is gasping for air. That's the point we need to get to when we do these. Like at the end of seconds, you are gasping for air. Examples of anaerobic exercises are those that use fast, fast twitch muscle fibers and multiple muscle groups like jumps, sprints, lunge jumps, mountain climbers, okay? And we'll be going through what those are. During anaerobic activity, body is treated to form, um, you know, lactic acid. And this type of training is simply used to build strength, speed, and muscle. But it is also ideal for state for fat burning. When you push your muscles to the limit, your body decides to build more to push to the next time, right? I didn't have enough this time. I'm going to build, I'm going to take some energy, uh, you know, what we intake our food right and build more because this tabata training is good if choice if you want to exchange a little extra fat for some lean muscle and then fat burning how many of us want to burn fat okay high intensity tabata workout can really burn a large amount of calories in a very short amount of time and what's more is they'll put your metabolism to high gear for for 12 plus hours afterwards a recent study um published in the world conference on exercise showed that four minute basic squat jumps done in the tabata method burn the same number of calories as 30 minutes of regular cardio exercise i know about you but 4 30 like let's think about this um it increases our stamina and our endurance we've all heard the basic game plan for increasing stamina do an activity such as running for as long as you feel like you can do it and then do a little more while this workout works it's tedious right tabata gives you the same results almost in no time right by pushing your limits you don't have to do it for the half hour or the hour, right? We are just, right? We are just doing it for those, for those twenty second bursts in four minutes. It's amazing. Okay, what about self confidence? I think this is huge. Letting yourself be all that you can be, knowing you can put yourself to your limits, realizing that you conquered more this twenty seconds than maybe you did your last time, you can drastically improve your mood and your confidence. There's nothing better than feeling accomplished. I don't know about you, but like when you, don't you love it when you like nail something you haven't nailed before? And pride in working through obstacle curves. And Tabata, um, unless you're an Olympic athlete, right? Um, you know, there will be obstacles. Like, even for me, like, when I was recording these videos, there's times when you'll see, like, I get, like, fatigued. But you can actually complete the entire four-minute workout, begin to see changes in your body and fitness, and you will feel extraordinary. So trust me, like, give this a try. Um, and minimal time. One of the greatest benefits of Tabata is that you can fit a four-minute workout in your day no matter what. And, like, you can do three days, right? It's easy. I do one in the morning, one at lunch, one at after work. Like, and all you've taken up is like 12 minutes of your day, right? I mean, 
granted, it's going to be a little bit more, you know, get ready, those kind of things. But you could say 20 minutes and you'd have it done. And, you know, the thing is, for those who don't enjoy exercise, right, and don't want to spend an hour on the elliptical machine, you know, this is a great option. But keep in mind, four minutes is no way easy. It's brutal, okay? It's a brutal four minutes. It's very intense and highly effective. Another benefit of Tabata workout is that it really can fit into your schedule and you can do it at home. You know, you don't have to go to the gym. If you think about, like, if we have to drive to the gym, right, then we have to get, you know, the just getting to the gym, getting set up, waiting for other people to get off machines. How much time do we waste in doing that? You know, a trip to the gym and a regular workout using maybe your favorite, even doing one you stream, you know, 40 minutes. There's plenty of days that you can't get, stick to that schedule. Think about it. Is there any other way you can benefit, you can spend four minutes that offers anywhere near the same benefits and promote health and well-being? No fancy equipment, no fancy training, no time required. All you need to do is push yourself. And so, of course, I have ones with weights, ones with bands, ones that are just body weight. So there's a good mix here. So is Tabata for you? I want to narrow this down because if like we want to make sure this is right for you. If the idea of doing routine uh, that only takes four minutes is tempting, but is it for everyone? Um, the truth of the matter is that 20-second intense intervals are brutal and you will put a lot of strain in your body. Some may not even be able to perform the specific Tabata moves for all 160 seconds of the intensity portion, at least not without practicing building up. For normal healthy people, it's not bad amount of strain. In fact, this is the right amount of strain to stimulate your body into becoming better, stronger, more fit. But if you have physical conditions that make high-intensity exercise a no-go for you, you're going to have to forego Tabata. So, like, if your doctor said you cannot do HIIT training, you cannot do high-intensity, like, get your physician's approval. In general, to do Tabata successfully, you need to be in, you know, decent physical shape. Maybe you're considered, you know, like, if you won't really want to get the most out of it, if you're someone who's athletic, like, this is going to take the next level. If you are a beginner, I'm going to give you beginner options. Nevertheless, like, if you fatigue, they say, like, you only made it 10 seconds this time, Right? Then next time, build up. But you, what I'm going to say is you have to listen to your body. If you're not someone who's been working out, this can work for you. But this has to, you have to listen to your body. Like when you're fatigued, but you have to know too, do I push myself? Am I just saying I'm fatigued? Okay. So I encourage everyone to give it a try, but like definitely take into consideration. Talk to your doctor because I'm not a physician. So I don't want to just say everyone can, right? Um, you know, what about if you're pregnant? It might not be suitable, but if you're already active, then you don't need to skip it entirely. Tabata workouts have different, been crafted specifically for expectant moms. There are programs that have been custom for each trimester even, and I'm working on doing a tri doing that for, like, um, the different ones because I just got a certification for pre- and postnatal. So check with your doctor regarding your four-year situation and exercise. And um, When pregnant, you do have do you have to avoid doing so much exercise to become utterly exhausted? And you have to make sure that your body temperature doesn't rise too much and stay hydrated. Okay, knee problems. If you like to do Tabata, but you're concerned because you have knee problems or you um, can't do high-impact sports, don't worry. There are Tabata programs for you, too. You can have high-intensity workout without the high impact. In fact, having no, you can have no impact. Cycling Tabata regimens, like the original, you know, stationary bike, are you know one way to do that and i'll have those on my channel as well so stay tuned motivation if you are just an average you know person you may you know you really struggle to motivate yourself um high intensity during those 20 second interval periods probably the truth is that many people will not have the motivation it takes to get brutal intense results um if you it may help you if you find exercise partner, someone to encourage you best, or like watch mine because i'm going to really push you so you know um, rather than doing it on your own a great way to do is you know, help me guide you through because I'm going to be in the fit in your face in the camera, like telling you to pick it up. Like I'm going to tell you, like I'm going to challenge and push you. So, and don't forget, working up to is great. Starting with less time, doing it slower, all those kind of things. Give yourself, you know, yourself like the, the kind of the the crutches you need in a way to get to that point. So, to our workouts within your reach, um, there's nothing here that most healthy people can do and thing is like like i said if you need to do less time if you need to do less rounds and build your way up to just build your way up just make sure you're pushing yourself so what parts of the body then are worked with tabata so the answer to the question is quite simple every muscle but it's not every muscle is worked in every tabata workout the tabata protocol is simple it can be applied to any cardio exercise so which by which parts of the body do you work depends on the exercise you choose um if you decide to cycle you know you're going to be working muscles in your legs and feet, especially the quads, you know, hamstrings, calves, as well as your entire cardiovascular system um, to a less degree, even your core. If you decide to go running, you'll be wearing quads, hamstrings, glutes, hips, flexors, calves, you know, um, you know, abdominal muscles, heart, all these kind of things. If you really want to focus on your obliques, you might do the Russian twist, right? Um, 
do your full body workout with burpees, okay? That's one that leaves almost on any anything untouched. Um, and like I said, on my channel, like I'll have it go through and that way you can actually, you know, know like what this body workout is going to work this muscle group. And that way you know which one you're working and you can do that. Um, you know, you can do a dry workout with super quick, super intense jumping jacks. You've probably seen the dance start with your feet together, hands together, right? Up, train your legs, right? We've all done jumping jacks before. Um, so, you know, there's so many different things we can do, but you know, you can even do if you someone who can't jump, then you just take that step out. So you think about like we think about what we work when we do that, right? Your arms down and close together. Once you get the heat, right, and then you go really, really fast. This will work a lot of muscles, quads, hamstrings, glutes. Um, you know, a lot of abductors. Um, it works the back as well as really even if we look at it, it's going to work a whole bunch because you think about the back, like you're going up and down, right? So we are actually engaging. A whole bunch of our back muscles there I go through them all and you know um that's a that's a lot it's a lot of muscle for a simple move um and if you like to focus on just the upper body you can do push-ups or you know free weights or um you know be standing with your shoulder you know raising you know shoulders right there you can add a squat to it and power up so there's so many different things that we can do to actually work in that's why I want to make a video series on it because I'm like we could take this, and a lot of people might not realize all the different exercises that they can do. So, you to is not is a workout that's not limited in any way to what muscle groups you can target because we can target them all. What makes Tabata um, it's not the exercise itself, but the way you exercise. So this is this is not saying okay, this is not the way I exercise. It's not the difference. It's it is and it's not limited to the to the exact exercises, like kickboxing, right? We're gonna look at kickboxing moves, right? If I do Zumba, I'm gonna be dancing, like we're looking at Zumba moves. This is something that gives you more of the framework to do it within. So we could take anything and we could put it in there. I mean, I could probably take some Zumba moves and put it in there somehow, you know? Um, I could take, I have plenty of kickboxing that I did with the Tabata. Like it's a kickboxing move that I put as a Tabata. And so really it's just that framework, that 20, 10, eight times. Um, you know, there's a protocol which stresses both aerobic and aerobic systems um, to the utmost, standing, seeing clear signals um, then in the formation of new muscles and improvements to cardiovascular as well as definite increase in your endurance. Um, so total body transformation drives, spending four minutes a day, three to four days a week and transform your body from a soft flabby thing into an utterly un yourself being with a hardcore strength. Here's the one that following the regimen will melt that body fat, greatly increase your stamina, tone your muscles and turn sluggish blood flow into the veins as well as circulating life. Giving liquid keeps our new muscles, you know, well fed. So you get total body transformation from this total to body protocol and it'll cost you nothing and money unless you have you know, no phone clock or computer in which you have to, you know, buy a stopwatch. But if you do it with me, I already have the time. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, just a little bit every day will give you a lot for for your time. Though the cost um, and time and money, you know, really isn't there unless you want to get some weights to buy this or work out with is no easy one. I need to keep saying that. I demand you have um you have to have that grit and determination and tenacity it requires you to push yourself further than you have put yourself before even then you didn't hit so i'm gonna require us to do this repeatedly and not slack off just because we've already pushed ourselves to the absolute limit seven times in the last five minutes right if you're really doing to a high level you're going to be going you know you're going to be just dead when you're done in a good way so you'll be gasping for you feel like you're going to you know just like i have nothing left jen at the end of the four minutes uh, maybe not even stand up, but if you do it again tomorrow and the next day and stick to it, you will see body transformation. And that's what I'm, I love about Tabata. So, um, Tabata is a great thing to do. I'm excited to bring this. I'd love to know your questions about Tabata. Make a few other like kind of basic videos about just some basic with Tabata and then there'll be the workout series. You know, any questions that you have about if this is right for you, how you go about it, um, anything that I didn't make sense on here um, because I'd love to clarify that. So if you haven't met before, quick, my name is Jen Plyke. I'm simply your holistic empowerment coach and I redefine fit as a lifestyle. Um, I take you from the places stuck in your diet and your nutrition. I bring in the mental part 
and as well as how we deal with our emotions and our micro habits within our day, making things doable, sustainable, realistic, and practical. And that way, what we do today, we'll do for the next 10 years and not that, not a not an empty promise program. And um, so I look at that from my nutrition to coaching to my personal training group fitness to my life and transformation coaching into one complete program for you. So if you're looking for that holistic approach to your life that, that really does fit into your life and makes you thrive, especially if you're starting to deal with binge eating or um, stress eating or emotional eating, this is a great solution for you. So I'd love to be here for you. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow if you haven't. That you're there anytime I bring you relevant information regarding living the fit life um, from a holistic approach. And like I love to answer your questions. So always touch with me in the show notes. Please reach out to me anytime. Be brave, be kind, live authentically, and shine. And remember, try to be your what? Just one habit away.